Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival. Today I am back with another World of Warcraft cookbook recipe video. I haven't done one in a long time, and today we're going to be making the Mulgore spice bread. I've never made this before, but I'm very excited. I'm kind of doing this to celebrate Lamas, assuming I'm saying that right. I don't know, it's my first time celebrating llamas and it is all about bread and like harvest and wheat so I thought that this would be the perfect time to do it. I think I might actually be making soup as well in this video which isn't a World of Warcraft thing but I bought stuff to make butternut squash pumpkin soup and I feel like it will go really well to have some pumpkin butternut butternut squash soup with the bread. So while it's like raising or maybe while I'm baking it or both, I will make some soup as well. We are all suited up with our horde apron. There is a lion's on the other side, but today is a Torin themed recipe. So gotta go for the horde. Uh, we'll be starting with the first step, which is in a medium sized bowl, combine the warm milk, brown sugar and yeast, and then allow it to sit for five minutes until frothy. So I'm just going to be using regular 2% milk and we're going to measure out one and a half uh, cups of that. And I'm just going to put it into this cat Halloween mug and heat it up in the microwave for a bit because it says it has to be warm. Dear God, I didn't think this through. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't spill that. Okay. There we go, our little thing of milk. And I'll just heat it up for like a minute maybe. All right, so we have our warmed milk. We're just gonna put that into the bowl. Brown sugar. I have all these really cute containers with labels on them. They help us to uh, keep track of like when we need to buy more groceries and stuff. Two tablespoons. I'm just kind of packing it a little bit. And then we need two teaspoons of yeast. So I bought these little packets. I've never even used these before. Um, it says that it has approximately two and a quarter teaspoons and we only need two. So I'm gonna measure that out. And then I'll just kind of scoop it out from here. There is roughly one, a little under two, but I feel like both of those were like slightly under. So I'm just gonna dump what's left. Then I'm just gonna give this a stir kind of use a fork here. We got that and that's gonna sit for five minutes. So in the meantime, let's get our Mulgore spices made because I have to measure all that out so that it's ready because that's the next step. You just need half a teaspoon of all of these spices right here. Ground cardamom, ground ginger, cinnamon, and then I'm using some ground allspice instead of cloves. And finally, some ground nutmeg instead of mace. Then we're just gonna mix that together. And there is our Mulgore spices mix. I'm going to cut two tablespoons of butter and melt that in the microwave. There is our melted two tablespoons of butter. Let's go ahead and add our spices in now. Send the spices and the salt, but I'm skipping the salt, so we'll go ahead and mix the spices in and add in the butter. Now we need to add half of the flour. It says three cups, so we'll start with our one and a half. And then it says to gradually remain the last of the flour, so I'm just gonna do it half a cup at a time, so I'll do that three times for one and a half. So it seems to be a little bit too wet. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit more. Next step is to put it onto a floured surface and do some kneading, which I am probably not good at. I still feel like it's kind of wet. I don't know what happened, but it says to knead it for a few minutes. So I'm just gonna do this, kind of pushing it and rolling it around. I feel like that's legit. I feel like this is what I see people do with bread, right? It says to place it into a lightly greased bowl, but I'm just gonna kind of put some flour in the bowl. Cause that's what I saw another girl on YouTube do. So, and plop it in there. She also sprinkled a little bit of flour. And we just have to put a 
tea towel over top of it. Check this one out, you guys. It's got like cats on it. And at this point, we now have to let it sit for an hour. So I might start making soup now or I'll just see you guys soon. It has been a little bit over an hour now. We're gonna reveal, oh my God, it has puffed up. Look at that, it's like doubled or tripled in size. Um, so the next thing that it says to do is to punch the dough back down. I don't know if that literally, oh my God, it did release air, what the hell? Okay, it doesn't say to put down flour, so we're just gonna, oh my God. So I kind of, fucked up a little bit. I was, I had the oven on because I'm roasting some butternut squash to prepare it for the soup, but I had the bowl kind of sitting on the stove like above, but the oven kind of like gets hot on the stove when it's on. So the bread got kind of like warm and sticky. I don't know if that's bad, but I think it's okay, but it was kind of sticking to the bottom of the bowl, but we're just going to roll with it. I hope that that doesn't like mess anything up. It basically says to shape it into an oblong loaf. So I'm just going to kind of start doing that. It says to kind of like, I don't know, it got kind of weird because of how I had to pull it out of the container. So I'm just going to try to smooth it a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not perfect, but it's as good as it's gonna get. Put this over here, kind of reshape it a bit. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit kind of, I don't know, like wrinkly because I had to like pull it out of the bowl because it sort of got like melty-ish. But now I have to leave it to rise for 30 minutes. So maybe it'll like puff up or something, we'll see. Alright, so the oven just finished preheating to 425. I turned that on a little bit ago. Our soup is cooking. It's now simmering. Um, I'm going to be blending up the butternut squash with a immersion blender. And this has been sitting for 30 minutes and now I have to put some uh, slices in it with a knife. And I have this random red knife and I thought it was fitting with the horde vibes. I hope it's sharp enough to do the trick. So let's put some slashes. Oh my god, I don't know if it's sharp enough. We're uh... We're working on it. All right, there is our bread. I put some slashes. They're not that pretty, and hopefully I did them deep enough or not too deep. I don't really know, but we're going to throw this in the oven. It has to cook for 25 minutes, so that's how much longer I'll let the soup go. Probably in like 20 minutes I will blend it up and I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk. And then we'll pull the bread out, probably let it sit for a little bit, and I can't wait to try it and let you guys know how it is. Okay, so I just pulled the bread out of the oven. The soup is pretty much done. I'm just waiting for this to cool. It feels pretty hard. I don't know if it got like overcooked or something or if it's supposed to be like that, but it seems really hard. So I'm kind of nervous to try it. I'm gonna give it like another minute or so.
this one's really thick I actually tried you can like kind of see a cut mark but I couldn't get it to cut anywhere than where I had put those marks so this is thicker than I would have but that's okay and I also have an end piece and I put some butter on it and I haven't tried it yet so we're gonna try it right now I'm nervous but excited. It definitely smells very like fall themed and kind of sweet. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can definitely taste like the cinnamon and nutmeg and everything, but it's very subtle. Very good. I do like the end piece, but I'm curious what it just tastes like. You know, just plain, even though this is like thick as balls. All right, let's see. Mmm. This is so good. I definitely, this is the first time I've like made bread. I've like made other bread before, but I always just look up like super easy, like no yeast bread and they always turned out like really, really shitty. But this was like proper where like I let the dough rise and I've never done that before. And it definitely tastes like quality bread oh my god i've also been watching lord of the rings i'm on uh just two of the two towers extended edition almost done and i feel like soup and homemade bread is such a vibe this is so good i'm gonna eat this with my soup but the bread i would rate it probably 10 out of 10. And now for the soup, I have these little warm and cozy bowls that my mother-in-law got me. All right, so let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's so good. It definitely is like a super warm and cozy soup. It also has cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger in it, so it's very fall warmness. There it is, you guys. That is everything. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I can't wait. I'm going to go sit down, play some Miss the Pandaria remix while watching Lord of the Rings. And I guess maybe I'll get my husband to come in here and let you know what he thinks of it and everything. I'm holding this so weird. It's like hurting my finger. You got to come try. You got to come try. There's an end piece with butter and then there's a plain piece and then you can cut your own piece after. But I cut it thick because I was having a hard time you know, like, not like I just did it from there. So do you want to start with the bread? Here, turn to your face. It looks pretty bomb. It looks pretty good, right? <laughs> what do you think? It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Try the butter piece. The little end piece. <laughs> you like it? What would you rate it? I said 10 out of 10. It's pretty good. Yeah, it like tastes like legit bread. Yeah, it tastes like legit bread. Okay, now try a, oh, bite, boy. a bite of the soup. Here, turn to face the camera a little more. <laughs> this is like the most fall thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I had to slurp my soup. It, it was hard to just like... I'm still chewing the bread. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Tastes like autumn. <laughs> that was the goal. Here, you got a little mint. You like it? Yeah. Yay! It's good. You can grab some of your bread. I don't know if you want to try to cut it in the middle or if you just want a big fat slice, but you can get a bowl. There's still another one of those, but the handle's broken off. Oh yeah, it's right there. This was kind of annoying to scoop it with. Yeah, I had to do like six scoops. <laughs> He's doing it. Let's give me his reaction. <sighs> Sniff the bread. <laughs> Sniff the bread. He says what? <laughs> I snipped the soup. Snipped the soup. He says, uh, he no says it's orange. He says it's orange. He says it's like, fucked up. He's like climbing. <laughs> he says, oh no. my god. So good. Aw, oh, cutie. Okay. He can, doesn't like it. You can go off and then I'll do my outro. All right, guys, we did it. We made the bread. It's now cool enough for me to handle. Imagine just like eating this whole thing. I don't know if this is weird to hold it, but I'm going to go now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've made this before and what you thought of it. And if you maybe will make the soup, even though that was kind of unrelated from for the video, the wow cookbook. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.